Hello everyone. Now, when you play the game for a long time, it can generally get a bit boring sometimes. But in this video, I'm going to tell you 10 things to do in Terraria when you are feeling bored. Number one. Oh, I broke the floor there. Oh well. Alright, collect all the boss trophies in the game. This challenge is definitely going to change depending on if there's any more updates. It's probably not going to be because of 1.4. But, yeah, have a go. This might take. This will take you quite a while, but just try to collect all the boss trophies in the game. You can have, like, a separate room in your base just, like, devoted to collections. I didn't want to put relics on this list because I felt that that would be too hard. Um... But yeah, trophies shouldn't be too hard, it's just going to take a lot of time. Okay, number two. Try to get all of the hard-to-get items in the game. This can just be, like, you can farm for them, you could cheat them in, it doesn't matter. But just try to get all of the difficult items in the game. There's probably more, the jewel containment unit and the bone key. I don't actually have them right now. Um, but they're on this list as well. So yeah, try to get all of the really hard to get items so you can brag to your friends about it. Okay, number three, get announcement boxes and troll your friends. So you can get an announcement box by having one, I'm pretty sure the crafting recipe is one sign, five iron bars, and like ten wires. It's probably different, but I know that's the thing that you need. Um, and basically, you type something in them, and you wire them up, and it says stuff. So if you want to say, welcome everyone, and the Devourer Gods has awoken, you can just flick it, and it comes up in the chat, so everyone can see it. It's very useful if you want to prank your friends, um, and it's also very good for starting a server, because if you're starting a server... You can just have messages come up instead of having to get everyone in like a Discord call or something. You can just flick like everyone meet in like like the Crimson or something. And it's really useful for that. Okay. Okay, number four. I think it's four. Um, this one's a bit destructive, but you're gonna wanna get this is also very fun. Uh, a celebration in Mark II and Mini Nuke twos. And just, you know, like, go crazy. This is the fastest way to mine in the game. See how, like, just try to get down to, like, the underworld. And, like, challenge friends to beat your score. Um, also, don't recommend griefing people's worlds with this. Don't do that. Um, this is just for fun in your own world. But, yeah, please do not ever do this in your own world. Like, look, in just, like, ten seconds, I create this absolutely massive hole. Like... Start a new world and just have fun. Like, it's, it's so fun to do. You can just mess around and it's amazing. I'm going to do a little bit more. Just also really good if you want to maybe make a boss arena underground. I don't know why I would want to do that. Or just destroy a large area. Like, maybe you're trying to make an AFK farm and you need a big open area. This is very good for that. But yeah, you can literally just fall because it mines faster than you can fall. Unless you hit water. Hitting water isn't fun. Um, but yeah, mini nukes, uh, celebration mark two, and that's it. Have fun. Okay, number five, achievements. Just try to get as many achievements as you can. Try to complete all of them if you want to. Um, some are a lot harder than others, but most of them you should be able to do. I've got most of them because I have like 350 hours on this game, but there are a lot that I still don't have. Um, how can I not have this one yet? But yeah, just try to get all the achievements. This will, this is, this is a very hard one. It will take you a lot of hours, but yeah, uh, have fun with trying to get all of these. Okay. Number six, I think, try to get all of the NPCs. I am using this, I'm doing this in Builder's Workshop, just so it's easy to make the video. 
But yeah, try to get all the available NPCs in the game. Another bonus for this is trying to get a complete pylon system with all NPCs happy um, and stuff like that. I've never actually talked to the golfer. But yeah, try to get all the NPCs in the game. This is definitely a challenge and this definitely will take you a long time. You'll have to probably complete the game. Yeah. But yeah, try to get all the achieve. Try to get all the NPCs. Okay. Number seven, I think. Try to collect all of the banners in the game and just set them up in one large area. You can do this in the same collecting room that you did the trophies in. Now some of these are going to be a lot easier than others, like zombie and slime, and some are going to be a lot harder to get, like the nymph banner down there. Um, but yeah, just set up maybe a mob farm, um, set it to different biomes and just chill and like just try to get try your best to get every single banner in the game. I haven't tried to do this because it sounds really hard. Um, but yeah, definitely try to get all the banners in the game. It'll be a very fun challenge. And that's going to be it for this video. That was about maybe eight, seven or eight things um, to do in Terraria when you are bored. If you enjoyed and found this helpful, please like and subscribe and comment down below. And I'll see you on the next one.